didn't. You know, I, I think it's um, it's a universal experience for someone who's creative that there is there's never a time where there's an expectation when making something that you could fathom somebody else liking that, let alone like people across the water, you know, overseas and yeah. all around the world. And so I think for me, you know, the fact that that's happened is a pretty incredible thing. Definitely unexpected, you know, I thought I'd always wanted to be in a band when I was in high school and always wanted to play and sing in front of people. And uh, I didn't know how that was actually going to, you know, look in my life, making a career yeah. out of it. It's pretty remarkable because, um, I mean, we're all, the boys and I are sitting in the shoes of our heroes, playing on stages that we never thought we'd see in places we never thought we'd go to. And uh, yes, yeah, very unexpected, but very yeah. awesome. Anyways, I think I think the new record came pretty unexpectedly. I, I, oh, okay. you know, when Until I Found You was written, there was this almost joking thought of I mean, I was joking to myself, you know, what what would it look like if I was a 1950s crooner and I was trying to write a song that was competing with, you know, other artists that I loved from that time. And then Until I Found You was born and that was a total accident. You know, that was just me loving that music so much from that time period and trying to make it myself. And then we did it again with Evangeline and that song came out and then and I was like, oh, we could actually make a whole record that sounds like that, and it might be really good. And then it just became something that was fun. It wasn't even a, like, it didn't take a, uh, it didn't take tremendous effort. It just took the understanding and having a lot of respect for that music in that time yeah. and making sure to really, because I, I mean, it feels like I've been studying that music since I was 10 years old, because I've been listening to it for that long. So when it actually came to making the record, it just felt very natural to make that. But it wasn't ever something I was like, oh, I'm going to do that someday. It just kind of yeah. happened that way. And um, yeah, I think it'll only happen once too, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'll happen again. Oh, I think I've just learned that, you know, we're, you know, the guys and I, it's actually not about us when we're on stage. You know, we're we have the opportunity to serve other people by soundtracking the moments they're creating with the person they brought to the show. Yeah. And so it's it's it feels like it's more about them than it is about us. And um, I think that's something we've all learned because, you know, when we would go and see our favorite bands, we'd be creating memories, you know, with the people that we took to those shows. And we'd also be in awe of the band but we're we don't leave the show thinking about how oh my gosh like my life is complete because i saw them it was like no like i loved that we were singing that song together and we were jumping up and down and i think that's something that's so exciting for the boys and i to have learned and just experienced that like yeah it really isn't about us like at all you know it's about everybody else's experience and we just want to be the best we can in that um for others which is exciting <laughs>